we now turn our attention to some word problems involving quadratic equations. Notice in this first problem we see the words consecutive integers. Instantly we should know algebraically that this will be represented by x and x plus 1. Now let's read what they were asking for. Write an equation representing the fact that the sum of the squares of two consecutive integers is 181. The sum of the squares. We have x squared and x plus 1 squared. We want to find their sum and that should equal 181. So this is the equation they're looking for. In part B we're asked to solve this equation. So let's begin by foiling out that second parenthesis. We're going to have x plus 1 times x plus 1 making x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals the 181. I'm going to combine like terms on the left and subtract off the 181 from each side of the equation. We will now have 2x squared plus 2x minus 180 equals 0. We notice that all three terms are even, so we can factor a 2 out, leaving x squared plus x minus 90 equals 0. Now we can factor the trinomial 2 times x plus 10 times x minus 9 is equal to 0. 2 cannot equal 0 out front, so we ignore it. We are going to find that x is equal to negative 10 or x is equal to positive 9. Now don't stop there. Those are not your two solutions. Those are the possible values of x. Each of these has a corresponding x plus 1. So one solution set is negative 10 and negative 9, and another solution set is 9 and 10. Moving on to this next problem, the portion of a roof truss is given in our figure. The triangle on the left, which we're going to focus on now, that's our darker triangle here, is such that the longer leg is 7 more than the shorter leg. We see x plus 7 and x, and the hypotenuse is 1 foot more than twice the shorter leg. That is represented by the 2x plus 1. Because this is a right triangle, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We are going to have x squared plus x plus 7 quantity squared equals 2x plus 1 quantity squared. Foiling these two binomials, we will have x squared plus x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. I see 2x squared on the left. Those are the only things that we need to combine together. And I see 4x squared on the right. Let's move everything to the right and set this equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 2x squared, subtract 14x, and subtract 49 off of each side of this equation. This is going to leave us with 0 equals 2x squared minus 10x minus 48. Again, we find all these values are even, so we can factor out a greatest common factor of 2, leaving us x squared minus 5x minus 24. We will factor further. 0 equals 2 times x minus 8 times x plus 3. We find that x cannot equal the 2 out front x can equal 8 or x can equal negative 3, but because we're dealing with a triangle we cannot have a negative length for the side of a triangle and therefore we're going to only have 8 feet. If we go back and find all three sides of this triangle, we had x and x plus 7. Those will be replaced with 8 and 8 plus 7 which is 15 and then the hypotenuse was 2x plus 1. That'll be 2 times 8, 16 plus 1, which is 17. And those will be the three sides of our 
right triangle. This next part piggybacks on the previous part. We're going to be focusing on the triangle at the right, and that x plus 7 we've found to be 15 already. Okay, now they want us to find this missing side, which I will call y. Because we have a right triangle yet again, we can use the Pythagorean theorem and say y squared plus 9 squared is equal to 15 squared. Now this should be a whole lot easier than the last problem. We're going to have y squared plus 81 is equal to 225. Subtracting 81 on each side, we're going to have y squared equals 144 and therefore y will equal plus or minus 12. But we know the negative will not make any sense in this circumstance, so we will have our triangle, which is 9 and 15 already known, and we just solved to find out that the height is 12. So this is a 9, 12, 15 triangle.